and welcome to day 23 of the No New November challenge. My name is Emma. Today we are going to be making some specimen slides. Um, I first saw these on um, Tracy Fox's channel. I will pop it below in the video. She used, um, I think it's like coin protectors or something to create um, the aperture, uh, not the aperture, the um, the actual card but I haven't got any of those so I'm going to try and make something myself. Um, she, hers had a, a circular aperture, um, I'm going to do a square. Um, so I've got my my frame punch board and I've got two six by six pieces of card here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, I don't want a big aperture. So I'm going to Hopefully, yeah, okay, that might be a bit small, but we'll see once it's all. Yeah, um, pop that to the side, I've just realised this is not even, I need to put this on this one, there you go. There you go, so I'll have to cut out a couple of more six by six pieces now this one because of <sighs> makes a perfect square i don't actually need to do this zippy bit um so this is a six by six centimeter piece um let's cut out some more i think i've got one here which i fold in i'll just pop that on the floor This is quite thick card so I can't do it folded. Um, I did have a look at trying to do it folded but it is too thick to do it folded so. This is so stiff, this one. So this is the frame punch board by my, uh, Memory Keepers. Yeah, memory Keepers. If you don't have this, you can use um, just an ordinary knife and measure it and cut it out. Um, that is possible. I just like how this gives you kind of almost a rounded center. Um, now I'm going to you can save these and use these as, um, particularly if they're nice paper, I won't on these because they're just plain, but you can use them as photo corners, um, which are quite nice. And I've done that with some of the um, particular ones, which I've, when I've um, made things with um, Edith Holdham's paper, because I didn't want to waste any of it. Um, I've made some, uh, I've saved, made, made some corner punches out of those corner tucks for photos. So we've got this. Now, the other thing you're going to need is two pieces of perspex. So we're going to cut out some perspex. I've got my piece, right, which I saved from the other day right here doesn't have to be as thick as this i'm just using this because i've got it available um this is going to be about the right size once i put it in there so i'm going to cut two pieces um approximately the same size so like always when you're using your um craft knife please be careful make sure you recap it straight away realized I've just squiffed this. So that's okay because it's gonna get trapped between two things. I'm gonna chop off this fold at the top. It 
so these are inspired by what um uh, specimen slides that used to be used for study purposes so on this you can put anything you want really but you most people tend to put either like butterflies or um, pictures of um, flowers in them um, I'm going to be putting some butterflies I think I've got some pre-cut butterflies um, let's, hopefully this is about the right size uh, I'm not being too precious about how big I'm making these because they're going to get, actually, let me just cut this bit. They're going to get trapped between, so actually let's have a look, see how this is. Glue it. That's about, about right. Ideally, you probably have a bit more space around the outside. Um, however, because this is um, the end of, a box, end of a box, I'm just wanting to use this piece rather than cut into a new piece. So you want two pieces because the idea is that you're going to um, trap something between the two layers. So this one, I'm going to very carefully draw around the aperture again of the uh, window. Very carefully. Now tomorrow's video will be a little bit later. I have got some important meetings, phone calls to have to do. Um, so I it will be filming slightly later. Um, I'm hoping to have it uploaded um, kind of um, by nine o'clock GMT. Um, sorry if that means you've got to stay up or it's not the best time for you to watch. Um, I'm a bit limited this tomorrow on what I can do. Um, and I would try and film it one day in advance, but um, me being, having been organised this lockdown, I, well, sorry, not this lockdown, the previous lockdown, I haven't actually got any um, notes with me for tomorrow's um filming so I very have a, a, a very lovely mother who's going to leave some of her old notes out on the front doorstep tomorrow on the way back from work so I can pick them up and use those um so I can kind of keep up with what we the the plan is um I should have really thought about it but um where I've not really needed to do um notes this time <coughs> round um I've been I'm not uh, generally a note keeper. Um, I do have some notes, but um, a lot of them I've not kind of ready to cut up because they're useful or they're kind of um, well, yeah, they're, they're still being in use and they have information on them that I don't want to use for this. So I'm going to try and get some from my mother on the way home. So we've got two pieces of perspex between two, like so. Now I am going to cut out, this might be quite thick perspex, so um, this time it may, hmm, no, it's quite a thick perspex, you may want to use a thinner perspex sheet than this, this might be too thick for really ideal purposes but it'll do it'll do for now um so i've got my little fussy cut butterflies um i want some which are going to fit inside here and um, you also want to think about the fact that you want to double it over so choose a butterfly or a, a flower if you're going to do a, a flower um, if you've got printouts, you want to make sure that you kind of flip it so you can have the two back to front and it'll be the same image. Otherwise, when you, if you get two, so say these, if you put them back to back like this and wedge it, it doesn't, you see how the white of the previous page shows. So you want to make sure you get two which are more or less back to back. 
Um, the alternative, what you can do, I'm going to try and find if I can see if I can find something, is you can use washi tape stickers. So um, if you kind of just cut out what you want on there um, and center it, you can kind of see on the other side of the washi tape the image, so you don't need to double those. Um, but for this one, I'm just choosing a butterfly. I've got the same size of, so I want to do this butterfly, and I think these, t this is the same size. So we'll cut, possibly cut those out. Pop these back. Uh, over here. These are, are from my um, Flutter by Dreams set um, on a digital set on Etsy. Um, what I've also used them for is, well, not exclusively, some of these are from others, but like these are on my um, uh, tickets that I made not too long ago. I think it was Panth Paper Outposts Challenge a fair while ago. Um, let's cut these out. Sorry, I should do this under the camera really, shouldn't I? It's been a cold day today it's definitely turning winter now um it's amazing really in the space of a month because i remember at the beginning of this this video i was saying it was quite mild really for the time of year um in a few days in a, in a, sorry in a couple of weeks it's changed it's starting to get colder definitely um frost was on the car this morning um which was the first for this year um Oh, sorry, not this year, but this winter. Um, which is... Well, I actually don't mind um, being it being colder. I like wearing toasty jumpers and um, snuggling up with a blanket um, on my sofa or um, watching... TV <laughs> or crafting. In my craft room it does get cold because um, my radiator is behind all my desks and um, space and because it's so close to paper and everything I have it switched off just because I'm, I don't want to risk it catching fire um, and I know uh, not that it would necessarily do so but it, it's just one of those things I'm paranoid about so it's not on in here um it's not just that it might also the heat might melt um boxes or things that i've got stacked in front of the um radiators so it does get a little cold in here but that's fine i'll wear jumpers um i have a little heater that i can um use um, so I've got these now I want to glue them back to back now I have left a little white border around the outside of these um, which I'm going to ink up in a bit um, just so that we've got um, just trim that gives it a bit of interest uh, it's not interest but um definition um, i know if you were uh, doing this in if you were actually collecting <laughs> um you wouldn't necessarily have um oh, anything behind them but for this i'm going to pr presume that this particular butterfly has brown edges <laughs> I 
Right. Now with this, I'm going to dab a tiny, teeny, tiny, just a smidge of a hole, uh, 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 a dot in the middle of this butterfly. And I want it on the skewiff in mine. So I'm just going to push it. Oops, don't do that. Make sure you do it on the inside. So a bit of glue here. Dab of glue on that so it kind of comes in. There you go. You will see it a little bit there, but this stuff does dry, uh, dry clear. So I'm going to pop a dab on this side and then I'm going to go around outside of my white card now if you have any of those dies where um, they when you cut out a square it gives you that nice kind of almost faux stitched line um, I think that would be quite nice if you've got some square dies like that to do I don't have them but um, I do think that would look really nice around the outside of these. Um, again, I think it would look really lovely if they were stitched, but um, alas, <laughs> I do not have, I'm just clearing anything that's in between the layers because I don't want to do it. There we go. And then just match them up. Oops. Yeah. So because of the thickness of my card, I've got to clamp these down, otherwise they're not going to glue naturally to themselves. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I get all four corners and then the middle here clamped together so that they will glue and dry together. I'm actually going to bring out these so they're like right to the edge. Rather than all the way in. Make sure that they're actually gluing. And keep that to the side. For a little bit now you can what's quite nice on these is to do a tab um so out of the tabs that we made i think let's bring them over i've got loads i want one of the smallest ones that we have so let's see what i've got here i can't remember what tiny ones i've got Might be nice that little one there. That one. I think I want one of the plainer kind of patterns. So I'll bring that, leave those out. Yeah. Now, I think be nice to have a label on one of these now actually i wish i could use this because this is a bit thinner might have been better um to have used oh well I forgot i have that um now i know that this particular butterfly um i have the details for it somewhere so i'm gonna try and find them I've got some because I they are all of the information is on for this particular butterfly so well for all of the butterflies in my um uh Butter by Dreams kit, you do get. So this particular butterfly is a Pampilio, Pampilio Demo, 
Dukas. Um, now, I know I've got like some more information than that, so I'm just having a look for it. So it's found in Madagascar. Um, I've got a bigger one somewhere. If I can find it. No. I'll just use that one. Maybe I'll use it for something else. Um, so this particular butterfly is found in um, Madagascar. Um, it's phylum. Is Arthropoda, class Insecta, order Lepiotera, family Pampilionidae. Pam I have no idea if I have them saying these. Genus is Pampilio, and species is D uh, P. Demodocus. I went through and found all of this information. It took me forever um, when I was making the kit. Um, so I want the information from this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put on this particular thing. Um, so hopefully this is now dry. Let's take these off. Um, oh, that's great. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a bit of age. Now these, tut, I didn't do what I was supposed to have done, which I said. Um, now these are kind of really decorations to your um, piece. Now if you had, say, um, on your trips when you've been out, if you're using this perhaps for a journal for a holiday um, that you've been on, um perhaps you could have um, if you picked up a flower or something on your journey that you particularly liked if you pressed it you could do use it between these um and actually have you know a memory of of that day um on in one of these um if you have a practical use for like that or if there's something else you want to trap in it maybe a picture of something which you had been given gifted um, you don't actually have to have a clear um, back to it I'm just making a mess of this really oh well um, and I'm using them almost like a kind of specimen slide of your holiday Perhaps each day you go somewhere, you pick up a different something or other that you can pop in one of these and then you can have like a, a slide. Um, the other thing you could do is um, if you use a, a traditional kind of camera, um, you could ha actually make a proper slide with these. So if you have, um, once you've developed your film, um, you could use the negatives and put them in one of these, which would be nice. Um, but for this... Um, I've well, I don't have anything that I particularly want to use, so let's select which one do I want this or do I want this one? I want the next one. So I'm going to glue a bit more of this far here. Um, you could make the you could put these in a little pocket, perhaps in, in one of your pocket books pieces um so like um the toilet paper pockets that i made you could put one of this in one of those which would look quite nice i think it would fit just about in one um lining this up that's good now the name how am i going to do this this information um, it's a shame I don't have the full um, label. If I still, 
If I was allowed to print out, I would have reprinted these out. But I set the challenge, so I can't be breaking the rules now, can I? <laughs> so let's just trim these down. Quite difficult to get this straight. <laughs> so let's ink this up. You could print out um, the name of the flower that you're doing um, or write it. Sometimes some of these like look really lovely with handwritten tags. Um, my handwriting is not nice, so I'm not feeling up to using my handwriting at the moment. Um, but you could use, if you've got some nice handwriting, well, even if you don't mind using your handwriting, do it that way. Um, um, but they do look really lovely with like the handwritten because that's what they would have been like a traditionally a um, handwritten piece um, I'll add that butterfly so we don't waste it add that one there so I can reuse those um, so tomorrow we're going to be using our um, secondhand notes um, I mentioned for um, making uh, pages again. I think this is I think this may be the last time we make pages, um, which is probably good because I've got loads of pages. I don't know about you. Um, I probably do not need these, but um, it's useful to. Um, try different ways of using pages anyway so you can see what you like so here we go I have my first um, slide um, what I'm not sure how long we've been filming for now um, could probably make another one quickly so let's choose different butterfly this time. What about this little one? Have I got another one of this little one? Got a bigger one of that one. size yet. We'll use those. There we go. Let me see if I can find the information for that particular butterfly. You don't have to use the information for the right butterfly if you don't even have to put information on you could just use like one of tracy fox's little filled note labels um or a plain label um okay so that's this one although i think i used the small version of 
that you do get two sizes in them. So um, let's see if I can find the smaller one. Loads and loads and loads and loads of labels. I should have probably pre-sorted this out and tried to work out which I was using first so you didn't have to sit here and watch me go through my label box trying to find which one to use. Oops. Aha. Well, that's that. So that's the same size as that, but... I'll do I'll just take the name off of that one rather than try and find a smaller print of it so this butterfly this time is a neuro sigma I think I may be butchering these names um, but <laughs> um, it's the arthropoda again insector class um, order lepido lep Pedoptera. <laughs> it's a nymphadale, phallidale day, nymphalidae, a neurosigma, and it's the species N. siva. Um, <laughs> you could do the same with flowers. Pop your name of the flower on your little slide you could do the slide out of patterns um, I'm using plain today but you could just use like a pattern paper um, which would look kind of cool too um, if you have like some perhaps like almost vintagey um, ledger paper with like text on I do like butterflies though. Butterflies are really, really pretty um, and something very peaceful about them. Um, me and my husband, when we went to Mexico a few years back, we went to um, the uh, Escarat. It's spelled X, um, X C A R T, Escarat, I think. Um, but it's pronounced Escarat, um, I think. And um, inside there, they have this massive um, butterfly house. And I could just spend, well, hours in there. There's so much to see at that particular place. The aviary is like four stories tall. It's massive. Um, and um, I mean the the birds you can see in that aviary are beautiful, so many different colours. Um so yeah, sorry, I'm just cutting this out again. Um but the butterfly house is whenever I go anywhere, I always have to go into the butterfly house and I'll spend ages trying to take photos of butterflies. Um because I just love butterflies. Um, they're quite hard to get open uh, a picture of an open butterfly like this unfortunately um, I mean these pictures um, I would imagine um, are mostly some of them are mine which I've managed to take um, other ones I've sourced to use for these um, and yeah no Some of them are probably from a collector, um, a butterfly collector, perhaps perspective of actually being collected. It's very interesting um, how they do it. Um, well, I'm not entirely sure how humane it is. Oh no. So this glue stick I left out last night, I just realized. So, it's all a bit dry. 
so I'm just going to cut off the, the dry end, pop that in the bin. I still got quite a decent amount on that so, because it was a new glue stick. That was smart of me. That's what happens if you don't clear up your desk. <laughs> you leave caps off, which you shouldn't. Right. Let's cut out all the pieces first. So. So me and my husband tonight are having tacos, which will be nice, I think. Either that or we'll have um, fajitas. We've got wraps and all of the, the bits for it, so we'll see what's, um, what he fancies when he gets back um, from work. I have a mild confession to make. I did put up my Christmas tree yesterday. I know it's early, but I have had enough of this year and I was just like, sod it, the tree's going up. Um, haven't put the rest of the decks up yet. Um, it takes quite a long time to do. Well, I'm sure you guys all know. I personally just, I like to do it, just take my time, enjoy it, no stress about it. So I'm just enjoying spending time doing it. Um, put my ribbons in my tree and put all of my favourite ornaments up on it. This year I've not actually used any plain wool balls this year, which is interesting because normally I go through, end up using ridiculous amounts of ball balls on the tree um but this year i've kind of kept it more plain and most of the gaps are filled with ribbons and i've put all of the nicer ball balls what i would call like the um the specials because me and my husband every year we we will buy um a couple of really nice um christmas ornament tree ornaments that mean something um to us when we're doing it um they're usually glass or um, perhaps some fabric ones um, and they're usually, I tend to go for the gold and silver look um, on them so that it, whatever colour scheme I have they'll go because um, I almost always put my golden silver up. This year I've gone gold silver with a bit of red um, and in the red, most of it's gold um, to be fair. I've used red ribbon on my tree. Um, some ribbon I got last year in the sale afterwards. Um, it's the first time I've used ribbon in my tree actually. I, I'm, I'm not, I have to admit, I'm not entirely sold on it. I think next time I might try deco mesh because I think you get a bit more substance out of it. And I think from the perspective of our tree, our tree is um, not a very full tree so that there's quite a lot of space between each um uh, each set of um, branches which doesn't bother me um but i think if i'm gonna um be using ribbon it kind of gets lost into in 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 the tree so i think i need to do a um something a bit um uh, something a little bit, um, what's the word? Something with more substance. Um, so this is going to be a little, I'm going to do this one five by five because this is not quite six. I like to be relatively. Oops. 
So when do you guys like to put up your Christmas decks? Do you have like a time? Um, are you like very kind of, I think it's an, uh, a lot of, some of my friends are um, Scandinavian and they're, they're quite adamant that you don't put anything up until Christmas Eve um, or a few days before Christmas. Um, whereas other people are like, no, whenever. Some people are like the first week of December. So when, when would you like normally? This year I've, I've, I've kind of, well, gone with the, away with what I would normally do. Um, like I said, I would normally, um, I would definitely normally be probably usually the first or second week of December bearing on where it falls. Um, this year is, like I said, is a bit different, so I'm not sure. Uh, when when do you guys put your trees up, decks up? Do you make a thing of it or do you just do it? Or is it a family tradition? Do you do it with your family? What kind of, do you have any traditions about it? So for, with us, it's usually me who puts it up. I don't have any children yet. Um, and my husband, um, I'm actually gonna bring this in and make this a little bit narrower time um my husband um hasn't got a creative bone in his body so he leaves it all pretty much up to me to do <laughs> which is fine i quite like it i i have no problems with that it means he doesn't get him away <laughs> um but he is around when i do it which is nice oh no this is not See, I've not been paying attention when I've done it. I've kind of screwed that up a little bit. Actually, I don't like how narrow that is. I'm going to put that back out again. Hopefully, this will be okay. It's going to be a little mini window. these whatever size you like um, if you're lucky to have a square punch you can cut it out with a square you can use a circle punch um, that is done very nicely um, it's a little bit more tricky to do I think or um, you can do what um, Tracy Fox does and use um, the coin protectors which has the this piece already for you but as we're using up um, scraps um, this is what I'm choosing to do um, to use up some of the um, plastic scraps left over from a box. There we go. Teeny tiny. need to neaten that up there. You can make quite nice effective ones with different sizes. Um, this may be too small really. But, eh. You learn from experience, don't you? So cut that piece, cut that piece. This is actually damaged here, so that's going to go in the bin. Gluing around the edge. 
So today I am burning the Calamasari, I think it was called, candle, Calamasari cocktail. That's not a cocktail I've heard of before. Um, I wonder if it's just something they've come up with. If it is a cocktail, I'd be interested to know if you know about what goes into it. Because <laughs> it smells nice. Ooh, actually, that's ink. This time I should have done that before I glued it out. But... Apologies for that, I had a phone call come in. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, Kalamasari cocktails, I think. Yeah, let me know what, what goes into it, if it is something you know about. Okay, let's clean up. Pop a dab of glue in the centre. Dab a glue in the centre of this side. It's going to be a little bit big. I'm not too worried about it going over the edge. Let's go around. It. This may not glue very well. I'm going right up to the edge so I can get this sealed properly. Otherwise you see how this kind of buckles. So if I glue that down, I sort of kind of treat it well. I think I might need to even add more to this one because I want to make sure it's properly sealed. As best it or oh, what best it can. Let's do that. There we go. Leave that to do that. Um, I'm going to use this one. Um, I've got these pre done. Well, let's do. Let's see if I've got one of my toilet roll pockets so you can see. Here comes one of my cats. That looks quite nice just tucked in there. You can pull it out. Be nice with some pattern paper. I wish I had actually done it with some pattern paper. But yeah. Do what you need, what you have. Good thing about this glue is it does dry pretty quickly to be fair. Now I'm just going to go over with the ink again because I've, I've not lined this up brilliantly. So you can see like there's a slight overlap. Hey, it may bother some people, it doesn't bother me because I imagine that when you did it originally when they were made before, they probably didn't have specimens. 
um well they might have been a bit more careful than i am but i imagine they probably were very um precise so prepping on my little tab And you can see where I've um, put too much glue between a little bit. It will dry clear, but you'll still see it. That that probably will bother me. I'm going to be honest. I've probably just put too much glue in it, but um, just have to deal with it. Um. in the corner flipped over so got a little so I've put the other one in that. I should have probably put the bigger butterfly in the bigger square, but never mind. Okay. So that's two um, specimen slides. The other thing I've seen people do, in fact, I've done it before. Again, I think I've probably found this from um Tracy Fox's channel again I'll copy it down is you can make um again using coin protectors but a different type of coin protector you can make these little dangles which look quite effective as well um they're not the easiest i will be honest at making particularly if you're turning them into dangles um i found in the end the best way to do it is to actually drill a hole i don't know if i've done it any going down and you have to be really careful when you're doing it um because you can easily go um crack the plastic piece. I bought a load of these off of Amazon ages ago because um, I used them actually ah, so I've done it on this one. I've drilled a hole straight through, um, popped a flat pin and then created a loop at the top. Whereas this I've drilled a hole straight through this way and created a loop and up and it doesn't look as nice I don't think as this. Um, I yeah, I bought these because of my games that we've been using. We use them for some of the uh, to protect some of the pieces in the um, in the games um, because particularly the card little cardboard disc things that are quite popular in games. If you um, little small pieces, and um, they can be quite um, hard. Um, to look after because they break very easily over time so using those protects them um so tomorrow we're going to be using the like i said the paper um we're coming near enough to the end um if you're interested in seeing how i'm going to put all of my book my journal together um leave a comment below um and I'll do a video of me binding it all together um, if people are interested. Um, people may not be. <laughs> people might be fed up of me by that point. <laughs> um, in which case, it will just stay on. I'll do some other indiv independent um, videos for Christmas ideas or gifts. I've got a couple of bracelets that I'm going to be showing people how to make. Um, I've got the tile coasters that I'll be showing people how to make as well. 
um, I know I've got a couple of other ideas in the plan so um, if you are um, interested in me seeing the video that's great if not I hope you'll hang around to watch some of my other videos um, if you have anything you're particularly interested in having um, seeing how things are made um, I can certainly give it a go <laughs> um, all the best and I will see you soon.